welcome back to my channel or of course welcome to my channel if you're new if you are new then hello lovely to meet you my name is Alex and if you are new here make sure you stick around and subscribe if you're not new and you've been here for a while then why not put the notification bell on just so you know fired of every single time that I upload we're embracing the greasy slicked back ballerina bun today so just ignore the hair situation for today's video i have a super exciting one because we are going to be doing a new in relove video so i've been doing a few of these recently i've done a new in rev new in rev pro new in p louise and i just find it so much easier to review the multiple new releases in one video just so I'm not overwhelming you with like 10 separate reviews on all of these items that have launched quite close together. So for Relove, I'm reviewing some collections that have been launching kind of since January. So we've got the uh, coal liners, we've got the high rise mascara, we've got the euphoric collection, and they've just launched a brand new concealer, which I'm so excited to try. So let's just jump straight on into it. As you can see, I've only got foundation on at the moment. I've popped on the Pore Vanish Primer underneath the foundation. I filmed some clips of me applying the product, so hopefully they should be playing for you now. Um, I love these primers by Relove. I love their sticks. It's honestly the whole Relove brand in general is so affordable and their products are such good quality for the price and then for the foundation i've got my super matte relove foundation i absolutely love this if you've got uh, oily skin or combo skin or if you just prefer a full coverage like it's not i say cakey like as if it's a bad thing but i love to cake foundation on so if that's your similar vibe you're going to love this foundation as well but that is what i've got on my base so far then i thought we can jump straight in with trying the brand new concealer so this is completely new it launched literally the same week you're watching this video so this is called the super concealer i believe this was three pounds fifty I love their price range so, so much. This says you can cover sculpt and contour with this concealer. I do have the shade 0.2. I am going to pick up some other shades like later on down the line, but I've got this one to test for today's video. And what I love about this is because the concealer that they launched originally was a concealer palette, and I don't really reach for concealer palettes a lot. I'm not a massive fan of the consistency of them, but this is like a full-on normal like wand concealer i'm literally so excited i really hope this is good so this is what the doe foot looks like it is quite pointed it's only three pound fifty i'm not expecting a lot from like the packaging and the formula but let's give it a test it does say it has on the lid hydro boost hydro boost i assume this has got hyaluronic acid in it and actually let me read about it it's called the super concealer radiant matte this must have hydrating hyaluronic concealer is available in 15 multi-use shades to cover sculpt and contour. It's lightweight, buildable coverage, provides a bright and radiant finish that blends seamlessly. So it's not really claiming to have like super full coverage, but it does say it's hydrating. So let's just go straight in with this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with the eyes and I can tell right away that this has like a really nice sort of thin thin formula to it um and then i'm just going to go in with my sponge that i use for my foundation don't judge me on how disgusting the sponge is let's blend this look how bright my under eyes are and you know what that blended so easily into the skin and paired with the foundation it looks very beautiful under my eyes, I'm not going to lie to you. Because the foundation is super matte, it does pump a bit of hydration back into your skin. And the coverage is not bad at all. I definitely wouldn't say it's full coverage. I know it's not claiming to be full coverage. Um, I'd say it's like a really nice medium. It's not too sheer. It definitely has a little bit of coverage, but it's not like super, super full and cakey. It feels really lovely under the eyes. So I'm just going to pop this kind of like basically everywhere else. And we're going to see what it does for some little friends we've got growing on the face at the moment. Uh, 
Okay, so this is the rest of my face with the concealer all blended out. My skin isn't too bad at the moment, so I feel like I've not given it like a proper, proper good test, but I didn't do any spot concealing for blemishes that I do have. And as you can see, it's not quite covered them completely. So as I said, this is a very nice, lightweight, hydrating, medium sort of coverage concealer. I can definitely tell it's on the more affordable side. The formula is very thin, but I'm impressed. Like, especially under my eyes, I'm super, super impressed. Like, they look so nice and hydrating. Don't be put off by the matte word on, on the description. It's not matte. It, it has a very, very nice uh, hydrating formula. You can tell because my under eyes are have a little bit of sheen to them. It's not super, super hydrating. So if you have extremely dry under eyes and you need a really hydrating concealer, it does provide some hydration, but it's not like super, super dewy looking. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of, it's kind of like a demi matte. Can you see what I mean? But I'm really impressed. For £3.50, when my skin's like banging and off the charts, and I don't need super full coverage. It's a very, very good concealer. £3.50 as well, like, are they joking? Like, I'm really, really impressed with it for that price. Okay, I've just popped on some bronzer and contour. For bronzer, I used the Relove Super Bronzer. This is in the shade Desert. Um, the colour, like, you know, looks a little bit on the orangey side. Couldn't get open then. But I actually built quite a lot of this up. I probably wouldn't, if you're fair, like, don't use too, too much of it. I would love for them to bring out some, like, really fair shades of bronzer. Um, but I did build this quite a lot, so you definitely could use this if you're fair. And then for contour, I just used their Contour Trio in the shade Sugar. I just used this one. Also, to set my face, I didn't tell you what I used to set my face. It's Real Love again. This is the HD Super Matte Powder. Um, next, I just want to pop some of this on. So this is um, new as well. This is all new. I'm including this video. Anyway, this is the High Speed Lash and Brow Serum. Obviously, I can't really do much with this in this video, but I can pop it on for you. So this is what the packaging looks like. I absolutely love the packaging. There we go. Um, and, you know, it's pretty basic. It just has, like, a clear wand on there. And um, it's for your brows and your lashes. I don't really know what you're meant to do with this. Are you meant to put it on... I assume overnight. Fabulous. So I'll let that sink into my lashes and my brows while we finish that. I've just popped some blush on. Um, it's not real love. It's actually the new uh, Made by Mitchell uh, brand. It is Made by Mitchell. Am I going insane? Yeah. Made by Mitchell blush book. I mean, look how stunning this is. I can't cope. It's beautiful. I've got Thrill Joy on at the moment. Um, yeah, I love it. I'm so glad I got it. It's stunning. Okay, so back to Relove. We have another base item to try that is new. Now, they launched the Euphoric collection in January. This included um, a shadow palette, a lip gloss, glitter for the eyes, highlighter. I believe there was a lip oil as well, but I don't have the Euphoric lip oil. But I thought I'd show you what lip oil is. So it's actually part of their like Roll Baby lip oil. So it literally looks exactly like this. However, it is a clear lip oil. This one, I've got, I've got all of them, but this is the, um, is it the papaya one? Yeah, papaya. So I'm just going to pop some of this on so you got the illusion that I've got the lip oil from the collection. <laughs> They're stunning lip oils. They're so, like, thick and moisturising in, like, a good way. I don't mean thick in, like, a bad way, but, yeah. It's divine. So if you don't have their lip oils, I'll definitely check them out. And then this is kind of the vibe for the Euphoric collections. Obviously, I assume it's based off of the TV show Euphoria, which I haven't actually watched myself, but it's very like, I don't know how to explain it. It's very like a lot of shimmeriness, like very like colorful, like that sort of vibe. Um, and then we have a like pinky lip gloss and a glitter. I'm going to try some of the highlighter. Um, this does look a little bit scary, but I'm not going to judge it in case, you know, it does actually work for me. So this is the packaging for the highlighter. And this is the shade. So it does look to be like a kind of like pinkish, peachy Sort of how, like, it could work for me. Like, off the lights here, it doesn't actually look that dark. In person, I'd say it looks a little bit more dark. But let's see. Okay, so I'm literally just, like, proper swishing my brush in there. Let's see. Oh, wow, it's very pink. 
I kind of expect it to be because it is pink, but it's a bit more pink than I thought it was going to be. And do you know what? That actually looks all right on me, doesn't it? Don't look too... I mean, I can see it on my cheek, like, right here. Like, my blush is kind of here. And the highlighter's here. Can you see that? I can see it when I look forward a little bit. But do you know what? It's not really that bad, is it? Don't want to be dramatic. <laughs> it is very powdery, though, like very powdery i'll just do this side with a mirror i probably wouldn't use this a bunch just because um you can definitely see the cast of my am i being dramatic can you see that let me know i don't know but also saying that like the actual formula of the highlighter itself is not like wowing me do you know what i mean like it is quite a powdery highlighter it looks stunning like once you've built it up on the skin but i think i prefer their like other highlighters in their brand <laughs> why could i think of that word i don't know it's just it's quite powdery it's a very buildable i mean if you are a more of a buildable highlight per kind of person you love pink i mean why not try it this is uh, everything by relove by the way is under a fiver it blends actually really nicely in with my blush so i think it looks pretty but I can't personally see me reaching for that whole bunch. So I'm going to use this to pump some hydration back on my skin. This is the H2O Hydrate Fix Mist. I have every single one of these um, very good setting sprays for the price. They smell divine too. The only thing about these, because they are on the more affordable side, they don't have that like super nice mister on it. It is quite like, pew, 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 you know what I mean? <laughs> so I would just... Keep that into consideration. So that's kind of all the base related makeup. Um, we've got a couple of items for, no, we've got, no, we've got, oh my God, we've got loads for the eyes. I forgot about these. So we've got the um, Euphoric Shadow Palette. This is what that looks like. The look today is gonna be very like easy because there's actually only one matte in here which is the pink and the rest are shimmers so it's going to be a very colorful shimmery sort of look um then we have the glitter i don't know how that's going to go down but we're going to try it uh then we have the four no five coal honestly the coal eyeliners these are only two pound fifty amazing and then to finish off the eyes i do have the new high rise mascara as well i ain't got an eye primer with me really love do actually have an eye primer and it's quite good actually for the amount um the amount that you pay so i'm just gonna whack some of the concealer in my eye no don't do that don't put anything in your eye <laughs> on my eyelid Okay, so that's the concealer on. Let's open the palette up. And firstly, I'm just going to take the matte shade in the palette, which is this gorgeous, shall I just say, uh, gorgeous like hot pink sort of shade. And I don't really know what to do with this. Do I just like whack it in my crease, maybe? Uh, I'm just going to whack that, I say whack, that sounds so aggressive. I'm just going to pop that on my lower lash line as well. I'm taking a big fluffy, like sort of blending brush. I'm going to take a little bit of that pink and just like with the brush, lightly diffuse that. So I'm still using the, shade, the same shade, but I'm blending it so... We don't have the arch lanes. Just taking a clean brush just to feather out these top edges. Okay, so these are like what the shimmers all look like. I'm definitely going to save this one for my inner corner and brow bone. There seems to be a couple of different textures, like just the comparing of these two. Um, this one looks a bit more chunky. This one's a bit more flat. Like I want to use this uh, purple shade at the top, the more chunkier one. This one. Look at that. I mean, hello. It feels really nice, like, on my finger. I'm just going to pop this, um, this shimmer kind of, like, here on my lid. I'm next going to take uh, this shade here on a little brush. And I'm just going to put this right in the inner corner here. Just 
used to brighten that up, but I mean, I'm gonna go in with the glitter in a minute. Then what I think I'll do is I'll take some of this purple shimmer on just like a really, I mean, this is like a, a straight brush. And I'm gonna blend this on the lower lash line. Just to make the lower lash line that's like, super pretty and shimmering. And then what I'll do is I'll grab the icy light shade and I'll pop that on the inner corner and brow bone. Okay, so that's how I'm going to kind of leave the eyes. They are super pink and it's shimmery. And now I'm going to get this glitter out. It's a full on, full on glitter. And I'm annoyed right now because I didn't bring any glitter glue down with me. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and just pop this straight on the lid. I don't know if it's going to work. Bear with me. So I've just got some on my finger, as you can see there. I'm just going to pat it on my... You can see, like... You can see that, right? That's the glitter on my lid obviously do better than what i did and actually use a glitter glue because then it will you know stick down ignore all the glitter i've got like down my cheeks as well but that is so beautiful and as i said like everything's under a fiver so if you are looking for like more affordable glitters i will check them out okay so that was the palette and the glitter um we're gonna move on to the coal liner pencils so this is what they look like they come in red blue green pink and purple and they did initially launch these with just a white and a black look how pigmented they are for £2.50 so these are the colors that you get I was so impressed when I first tried them and um, they're super creamy and pigmented for how much you pay for them like hello these are colorful eyeliners how amazing is that? I'm debating whether to put the lilac there maybe, just to mix it up so I'm not using pink. The lilac's gonna maybe just be a bit more of a brightening color, but you know, it's fine. I'm gonna try and do this on camera, but yeah, I'm a bit funny about this. Can you see that it's a bit more brightening? I feel like with the pink, it would have like dulled it down a little bit, but the lilac really helps like make the eyes pop a little bit. Oh, okay, my eyes are really watering, but this is what the eyes are looking like so far. Now we're going to try out the mascaras. So this is brand new, just recently released. This is the High Rise Mascara. Absolutely love the packaging. There's two here because this is the exact same mascara, but in waterproof. It's in very pretty blue and pink packaging i don't really vibe with um waterproof mascaras so um i'm just going to be using the regular one today let me show you the wand i have used this before because um if you know or if you don't know i do do some content for relove so i have been fortunate enough to try this out before it actually launches um but this is what the mascara wand looks like i'm just scraping some off because sometimes it can build on the wand so this is what the mascara wand looks like. It's probably a little bit more on the bigger side of mascara wands, but I will show you what it does for my lashes. I will do like one side first and then I'll show you a comparison. Okay, so this is the mascara with one coat. As you can see, nothing on this lash and one coat on this lash. Now, this really impressed me because Considering this is a three pound mascara, look how good that is. It's really nice and like separating. It's not super clumpy. So if you like mascaras that like to do a lot, but also not too much, if that makes sense, like it puts a lot on your lashes, makes them a lot more um, darker and thicker, um, but it also like lengthens and still remains separated at the same time so these are both my eyes with the mascara on what was i trying to say that i don't know but bottom line is i mean this mascara is fab for three pounds i'm not mad at this at all really impressive it i've definitely in my time tried some terrible mascaras that are like double if not triple the price of this so 
definitely recommend if you're on the look for a new drugstore mascara it is fabulous i've just taken off the lip oil because obviously i'm gonna pop a lipstick and lip gloss on so this is the lip gloss this is a lip gloss yet yeah, thank goodness because i was scared it was a cheek tint then but this is what it looks like packaging so cute and as you can see the gloss is pink so it definitely fits the theme of like the palette and stuff but i'm not just like a straight on gloss gal so i'm gonna pop a little bit of lipstick on so this is a really lovely lipstick in the shade manifest as you can see it is a more pinky lipstick so that's why I thought it'd be perfect for this so just gonna, gonna put, I'm just gonna pop some of that on okay so that is the lip we're definitely going a bit pinky monochrome today which is fab we love that so now I'm gonna take the euphoric lip gloss this is what it looks like it has a little doe foot on it it's super cute hmm has a nice scent to it actually and these are really nice and travel friendly so if you are a makeup on the go the gl what if you are a makeup on the goer perfect little lip glosses oh look at that it literally that just blended straight in with the lipstick the only thing with the little like doe foots is you do have to go in like a couple of times but i mean look at that I love it. I'm not a gloss like lover. I don't wear gloss all the time. Um, if you do watch me regularly, you know that I mainly just wear glosses for like purpose of videos. But this is what it looks like. It's stunning. What I love about this is it's super thin. It's not sticky. Not sticky at all. It's super shiny, high gloss. Love it. And I'm pretty sure this is only like three pounds. Sorry? three pounds for a banging gloss like that you gotta be joking i think we've had a fairly successful video today there's probably only a couple of things i wouldn't really reach for that often uh, the highlighter because i mean it's it's beautiful it looks stunning on the skin it's so pretty but it's not an everyday alex type of highlighter plus it was a lot um a lot it was quite powdery so i'm not a lover of the formula of that either um, the only other thing was the glitter. And not because it's a bad glitter, but because I just don't reach for glitter a lot. But I did want to show you it today. And can we just, like, appreciate the fact that I didn't put any glitter glue down? And look how stunning that looks against the lights. I love it. So, yeah, I'm going to give today's video a massive successful thumbs up <laughs> okay so this is my completed face using a bunch of new in relove makeup i really hope you enjoyed this video i think we had a really great fun video today i really do hope you enjoyed it if you've made it this far and you did enjoy today's video please let me know by smashing the thumbs up button let me know down below what you think of of some of the new releases that relove have done recently i would absolutely love to know and of course if you haven't already please subscribe down below and i'll see you in my next video Bye.